Okay, I got a plan for you today. Would you like to know what the plan is? You are going to visit Pollyanna. Would you like to go see Pollyanna today? I'll take that as a yes. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. Well, good morning, Lionhearts. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. How are all of you doing today? I hope you said well. Today, we are gonna do the vlog here in my apartment. We're not even gonna leave because Jacob the Carpetbagger recently posted a video showing his entire t-shirt collection. And because of that, a lot of people started messaging me and in my live chat saying, will you please show your t-shirt collection? You always show yourself buying shirts at these attractions. Can you show us what you have? So today that's what I'm gonna do because I actually have my laundry in right now. So I'll actually be able to show you every single shirt that I have because everything will be clean. <laughs> so here, we'll go ahead and start with what I'm wearing today. My new Elvis live at the International in Las Vegas shirt. Well, here we have my shirt from Clovis, New Mexico, Norman Petty Recording Studios, one of my favorite places and one of my favorite vlogs I ever got to do. The studio is basically unchanged. It's where Buddy Holly made most of his most famous recordings. He recorded Waylon Jennings there and produced him there. Real Orbison used to record there. Really cool place and a really cool shirt. My Beavis and Butthead shirt that I found at a dollar store. Ari Shafir and Joey Diaz, two of my favorite comedians of all time, and they were friends of mine, did a tour together, and this was a very limited, very, very limited shirt. Ari Shafir found it at his house when he was moving to New York City and asked if I wanted it, and went over there and picked it up. This is a real classic. Joey Diaz is from Cuba, so that's the Castro reference. I actually found this awesome shirt at a street fair right in front of my apartment building one day. Boner City USA t-shirt, also kind of a rarity now. That was my favorite podcast that lasted less than 100 episodes. Not for everyone, but it was definitely really funny to me. Here's my shirt from the Afghan Wigs concert. So here we have a band t-shirt, one of my best friends in Columbus, Ohio, his band, Connections. If you listen to my theme music, it's by a band called 84 Nash. 84 Nash kind of eventually cocooned into Connections, so same singer, same guitar player, a lot of the same members. The old classic Elvis mugshot. I got this one for five bucks. What a classic. Almost never wear white t-shirts, but for this shirt I had to buy it. This is also a band t-shirt from Columbus. This is Times New Viking, one of my best friends of all time. Also, Adam. Adam is the brother of the guy from 84 Nash and Connections, so yeah, they both had bands. This might be one of the coolest shirts that I own. A few years ago, looks like it was in 2015, because I wrote it down here. Um, all of a sudden on the radio they announced that in 30 minutes they were going to be releasing $50 tickets. The entire forum was going to be $50 a ticket to celebrate Dave Grohl's birthday party, and it was a bash for the ages. Michael, my best friend, uh, called me up, said, hey, we're going to this. I want to see this. You're going with me. He bought us tickets, and when we went, we got to see everybody from Paul Stanley, David Lee Roth, um, who else was there? Uh, Let Me Kill My, I mean, it was just like a star-studded event, and it went on for hours. They kept jokingly saying, this is going to last all night, and it did. So this was a very, very unique event, and I had to buy this shirt from it. I wore this one so much, I think I almost wore it out. As seen in Jaws' birthday video, styling and profiling Ric Flair, the greatest wrestler of all time. Oh, this one's cool. This is when I had a layover in Iceland, my very first vlogging international trip to Sweden for Michael's wedding. Stopped over in Iceland on my way back and hit the Icelandic Museum of Rock and Roll. Very cool place and a very cool video. Go check it out. From the recent Willie Nelson concert, I bought a handful of shirts for the future. In case anything happens to him, this was one of them. Live in concert, singer, songwriter, guitarist, actor, author. An all around good guy. This is also a shirt from that concert and this was Willie's marijuana brand shirt. I actually didn't realize I was in the line for that when I was getting it. I thought they were just selling these shirts and that was it. But as I realized what I was doing, I said, you know what, I want one anyway, just in case anything happens to Willie, I'd probably like to have it. I've been wearing this long sleeve since I was 17 years old. It glows in the dark. I've worn it to Misfits, Danzig concerts, you name it. Anything Halloween related, I pretty much have worn it. And I just never get rid of it. I always love that it has like the bones and stuff on the arms. Both sides. Here we have a Days with Jordan the Lion limited edition 
in Paris shirt. Back when I was doing a lot of traveling before all the business that's going on right now. I had a t-shirt company that would make a shirt for pretty much anywhere I went. And this was the one from Paris. You can see Jaw up there on the hot air balloon. Rest in peace to the great Anthony Bourdain. One of the greatest museums ever. Literally, if you like pop culture from music, movies, horror, fantasy, you name it, they have some of the greatest collections of all time, including when I was there, Jimi Hendrix Woodsock Strat on display. I found this Bob Dylan t-shirt in a rock and roll shop in Madrid, Spain, when I was out vlogging in Madrid. And then this one, on that same trip to Madrid, I took a hot flight over to Malta and went to Popeye's Village, also one of my favorite vlogs, where Robin Williams filmed the early 80s Popeye movie. Here is a concert t-shirt from The Who that I found in a thrift store many years ago. This was a concert shirt after Keith Moon had passed away. Here is an awesome Cheech and Chong shirt that a fan and I met up out here and she gifted this to me because she had went to the Cheech and Chong exhibit that I had vlogged down at the Grammy Museum. What a cool gift. Also one of my favorite shirts, my Anthony Bourdain shirt. Got a Ramones shirt on. He's got the Iggy Pop over one shoulder, eating a heart. <laughs> I miss you, Anthony. One of my many end of the road Kiss World Tour shirts from this last tour. Thanks to my buddy Eric. This was just an absolute killer bootleg shirt that I found in the parking lot after a dead concert. I mean, not found, but I mean, I bought it because they were for sale in the parking lot. I just thought it was such a cool idea and cool logo, I had to have it. And yes, the show was at Dodger Stadium. My WKRP in Cincinnati Turkey Drop t-shirt that my mom sent me. God is my witness, I thought turkeys could fly. Here's a shirt of the great Nudie Cohen, the man who made Elvis's gold lame suit and all those great classic old country Nashville suits that everybody used to wear with all the rhinestones and the glitz and glam. Here we have a shirt from the Days with Jordan the Lion t-shirt line. When we went to Prague, this was one of those exploration vlog t-shirts, limited edition. Here's my t-shirt from when I went to the Clark Gable Museum in Cadiz, Ohio. They recreated his birth home. Pretty cool place, and since they were getting ready to close for the season, they had very few shirts left, so that's why I got this teal one. And speaking of Ohio, went and vlogged the Christmas Story House and had to get a shirt there too. Here's a great shirt that I got at the Valley Relics Museum one time for an old pirate radio station. If you ain't cranking it, you must be yanking it. And this is one of the bootleg Willie Nelson shirts I got in the parking lot when I saw him at the Hollywood Bowl. Pretty cool shirt. Here is an extremely rare prototype t-shirt. The guy who used to own the shirt company I was with did a prototype of me and Adam the Woo as Laurel and Hardy. Then this shirt I got when I ordered a Daniel Johnston CD, it came with it, is and always was. This was also a shirt that we had for sale. This one actually you could get of Adam the Woo and I, a play off of They Live, John Carpenter's They Live with Roddy Piper. They're here to vlog and chew bubble gum and they're all out of bubble gum. Here is my shirt from the catacombs in Paris. It's always good to support your friends, so I do. Wear the Adam the Woo shirt. This is a tie-dye shirt from my hometown, Troy, Ohio. Saved by the Max, that is a shirt from when they did a pop-up limited time restaurant of Saved by the Bell, the Max, here in Los Angeles. This is a shirt from the day that we went to the dedication of the new Buster Keaton Memorial plaque and mural and Leonard Malton was there we got him in the vlog and we also got David Arquette this is a shirt from my first trip to Buck Owens Crystal Palace in Bakersfield I love that place so much this is the Cheech and Chong shirt that I had gotten myself when I went to make the Grammy Museum tribute vlog to Cheech and Chong it's a really cool one too this was one of the tour shirts from my friend Ari Shafir comedians tour I believe in 2011 or 2012 he gave me that. Here's my double-sided Brainiac shirt. This is also one of my favorite shirts. One of the greatest boxing matches of all time. Rocky Balboa versus Clubber Lang. This is a Vin Scully shirt that I found at a place in downtown called The Alley. They kind of sell bootleg stuff down there all the time. 
found this one down there for very cheap. I want to see like less than 10 bucks. Here's my first ever Jaw shirt that we ever released. Here's Ozzy Osbourne. Here's the old man from Up. Another Ric Flair shirt, limousine riding, Rolex wearing, alligator shoes. I'm the best! To be the man, you gotta beat the man. Well, they do. Here's one of my cool old Grateful Dead shirts. There's my Macho Man Randy Savage shirt. That's a great one. Tarantino's The Hateful Eight. I love that movie. And my Hot Rod Roddy Roddy Piper shirt. This is an amazing shirt I got at the Country Music Hall of Fame. Art Laws and Armadillo exhibit. Willie and Waylon. This one is from the Days with Jordan the Lion collection as well. Me, Breck, and Ja. Been there, vlog that. This was also from our t-shirt line. This was an homage to A Trip to the Moon. This one is my shirt from the Ryman Auditorium, the original, well, not the original, but the most well-known home of the Grand Old Opry. One of the two lost vlogs I've ever had, the Twister Museum, Wakita, Oklahoma. That was a bummer. That was a really good vlog, too. I'll do it again someday. This one's about a year old now. Breck and I, last May, made a road trip cross-country so that Breck could move to Texas, and we stopped in Roswell and hit the UFO Museum then. Another cool Brainiac t-shirt from when they released the documentary this year. This one is from the Billy the Kid Museum in Hico, Texas. This awesome shirt, obviously, <laughs> came from Wink, Texas, the home of Roy Orbison, childhood home, and they have a really cool tiny little museum there that they'll let you wear Roy's glasses if you get there. They didn't have any current shirts, but they always have a festival every year, so I bought this shirt from one of the previous festivals. There's my Revenge of the Nerds booger high on stress shirt that I wore in the Revenge of the Nerds vlog. Yeah, exactly. This shirt was another one of our Days with Jordan the Lion collection shirts. This is when I went to Quebec, the Ice Castle. I always love that design. And also, obviously, from the Days with Jordan the Lion collection, the best vlogger in all the land, the Joster. Here was our little Adventures of Tintin homage. This was our Gone with the Wind slash Vlog with the Wind shirt. Here's my shirt from Sun Records. Million Dollar Quartet. Obviously, my shirt from Graceland. This was the shirt that I bought at the Johnny Ramone Festival this year, Memorial Festival. Help raise money for his foundation. Here's my awesome Dwayne Allman shirt. I don't really look that good in this color, unfortunately, but I love the shirt. My awesome Flaming Lips shirt. It's one of the best shirts I own, I think. I haven't been here, but my mom sent me this because they went. I got this at the Texas Chainsaw Massacre gas station this past January when I was visiting Breck. We went and had lunch there so he could vlog it and I could have a great meal. Sawyer family, gotta love it. Here's my shirt from the amazing roadside attraction in Arizona, The Thing. It's kind of funny to look at other vloggers' channels and see how many of us own the same shirts. This is one of them. This one lists all the greats. Waylon, Willie, Merle, Hank, Johnny. Kind of surprised they didn't mention Chris though. That's one of the awesome shirts I got at Graceland. And here's my shirt of Luke the Drifter, AKA Hank Williams from the Hank Williams Museum in Montgomery. Probably the only attraction I'm not allowed to ever go back to. Also one of my favorite shirts I own, Waylon Jennings live in concert with Waylon driving the semi. Got my picture with two of Waylon's best friends when I interviewed them wearing this shirt. And this is a super cool rare shirt that we were gonna only sell in the Dearly Departed Museum, unfortunately. The shirt company went under and then Dearly Departed Museum closed, so we never got to do it, but I have a copy of this shirt and Scott Michaels has one. Here's another Days with Jordan the Lion t-shirt. Then before the world went on lockdown, I got to go to Venice, Italy for Carnival and I got Amy and I matching shirts of this. Another one of my favorite shirts, Shotgun Willie got this at the Willie Nelson Museum in Nashville. Famous Jim Marshall photo. Oh, this one's at the Palomino, a historic Los Angeles Valley country rock club. Long gone, but I've logged it. Some great history there. That's literally the gas station from Texas Chainsaw Massacre that I mentioned earlier where we ate that day. 
This is from our first road trip out there for Breck to move. Oh, I got this shirt in Brussels. Mannequin piss. Literally. And this, I think, I think if you're a vlogger, it's like a rite of passage to own a Bucky shirt. So this is my Bucky shirt. This was the throwback 90s shirt that they were selling when I was in Texas. Yeah, relax. This is also one of my favorites. Littlefield, Texas, there's a gas station there that Waylon Jennings' brother owns. It's called Waymore's, and it's got a full-on Waylon Jennings museum inside, and his brother is there pretty much every day before noon. There's my Roddy Piper They Live shirt. This is a shirt that Eric Singer gave me. At Christmas time, they had a big event like two Christmases ago that I went to, and um, Eric Singer brought just tons and tons of Kiss stuff for everyone and let everybody pick out some stuff they would want. And I figured I'll probably never get to go on a Kiss Cruise, so I got one of the Kiss Cruise shirts. Oh, and this is cool. This is when I tracked down the actual Sanford & Son truck, went out there, and they were selling these at the place that owns the truck. This is from the time I went to the Johnny Cash Museum in Nashville. Here's another Days with Jordan the Lion shirt, job busting through the wall as the superhero that he is. And this is just a killer tie-dye Grateful Dead shirt that I actually found at Walmart for $4.99 of all places. Frank Zappa and the Mothers of Invention freak out. This still has the tag on it because I got this um, a day or two before they closed the Jurassic Park ride at Universal Studios and they were going to reopen it as Jurassic World. Kind of a cool Frank Zappa shirt. Oh yeah, the mummies at Guanajuato. This is when I went to Guanajuato, Mexico. Highly recommend going there. Awesome trip. Of course, we went and saw Motown. The front of this shirt is completely blank black, but the back has this because I got this shirt at the Elvis Presley Birth House in Tupelo, Mississippi. Got this one at the Ziggy Marley concert. Highly recommend his concerts as well. This is one of the more recent editions. I found this one in Guadalajara. Now that I think about it. Yeah, found this one in Guadalajara. One of the all-time great drummers, and one of my all-time favorites, Animal. Got this one at the Buddy Holly Museum, Lubbock, Texas. Got this one in Riverside, Iowa. Birthplace, well, future birthplace of Captain James T. Kirk. This is the Jane Mansfield death car. Tried to help out Scott Michael's Dearly Departed Museum when they were closing down and buy one of these and he refused to accept my money. This was a Days with Jordan the Lion shirt of me and Ja, kind of in Kiss style makeup. Not a t-shirt, but it's a sweatshirt, so we'll include it. Beautiful Jesse Coulter. Of course, Gene, the demon. This is another one of my Kiss last tour end of the road shirts. My Willie Nelson and family shirt. Another Kiss end of the road shirt. Pretty cool Waylon Jennings shirt. I ordered a different shirt and they accidentally sent this one and told me I could keep it. And I will, I shall, I'll wear it in good health. They don't sell these at Graceland anymore, but I found this online. It was from the early 90s. I just thought it was so cool I had to have it. Really fun, musty attraction if you're ever in Austin, Texas. Museum of the Weird. They have the creature trapped in ice. I know for a fact that Jacob the Carpetbagger, Adam the Woo and I all three own this shirt. And of course, Willie from this past tour. Bought this in front of the Great American Ballpark where the Cincinnati Reds play. Pete Rose shirt, I'm with Pete, give me 200 on the Reds. This one's a memorial for the death of Greg Allman. I vlogged this place, an extinct rock club. It says country club, but it was actually a rock and roll club. Chuck Landis, I think one of the big claims to fame was it was the first place that Metallica played after Cliff Burton passed away. This one, as you can see in the corner says, ABBA the Museum because this is the ABBA Museum in Sweden that I went to. Got this in the parking lot of the Jeff Lynne and ELO concert. Pure genius. Got this at the Guns N' Roses reunion. And this one as well. Love Graham Parsons, so I had to have that one. Alcatraz Penitentiary swim team. You can pretty much guess where I bought that. Oh, and I got this one in Fairmount, Indiana. That was a great trip. I got to meet James Dean's cousin, Marcus, and he gave us a really great interview about the life of James Dean in Fairmount. Now we're in the home stretch. Here's my Evil Knievel shirt from the Evil Knievel Museum in Topeka, Kansas. Another Days with Jordan the Lion shirt for Jaw, the Jaw star. Here's my Shooter Jennings shirt, Electric Rodeo. This was actually a pretty cool shirt that Breck found. 
at the Bucky's out there near him. The Outlaws, it's actually the Highwaymen. Johnny Whalen, Chris and Willie. Then I also got this Jimi Hendrix shirt at the Museum of Pop Culture in Seattle because Jimi Hendrix was from Seattle and they had that guitar there. This was a shirt from my recent and first ever Rolling Stones concert that I went to with Stefan on YouTube, the Adika Group. I picked this up this year when I was in New York City for the KISS concert right next to the Chelsea Hotel which I vlogged was Chelsea Guitars. Just thought it was a cool shirt. And then other than what's been stolen out of my laundry facility, this is the last of my shirts. A custom made shirt for Breck's channel, Escaping the Mouse, of him losing his mind on one of the pods that he shipped his stuff from California to Texas with. All right, my friends, that's it. I hope you all enjoyed seeing my massive t-shirt collection, a little something different for today, but now, you know, anything that I get, I'll probably show in the channel so you'll always know what I have, and yeah, thought it would be just kind of something fun, something a little different. Thank you, Jenna S., for becoming my newest Patreon. Thank you, everyone, for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Have a great night. Goodbye.